Hello and welcome to Roboni Catholic Community as we celebrate this Palm Sunday beginning our Holy Week. Uh, the liturgy of Palm Sunday is very extended, as you may know, and uh, we are usually encouraged uh, not to give a homily on this particular day. Uh, but I have, over the years, just picked a couple of people uh, in the story or in the drama of Jesus and concentrated on them. This year, I was thinking about two people who are unnamed. And as a preamble to this, I'll tell you this story. When I was in the academy, in the police academy, I looked forward to graduating as a police officer. We graduated in May, in March, and uh, there was a big event, as always, that comes up in May, the first weekend in May. Those in Kentucky already know it is the Kentucky Derby. So looking forward to the Derby and to the detail that comes with the, the Derby. When the detail came out, I was assigned to 28th and Broadway. I was absolutely disappointed because I wanted to be at the track where all the action is. In fact, I wanted to be in the infield and be that police officer, show that police presence. And here I am at 28th and Broadway, I think, watching paint dry, my head buried at my phone, maybe watching some Netflix. And wondering, this is rigged. I'm supposed to be where the action is. As I'm sitting there, I hear a little tap on the door, on the window. There's a little kid, probably 10 years old or less than 10, and says to me, I can't find my mother. All of a sudden, that little boring space becomes so active as we try to find the mother of this child. The mother came up, scooped the baby up, and the baby, and was rocking him, and she says to me, I promise I am not a bad mother. He was there, and then he was not there. Things happen fast. These kids can get away fast. Today, as we celebrate Palm Sunday, I'm thinking about the donkey detail. Can you imagine being the disciples going up to Jerusalem and as you head up to Jerusalem discussing who amongst you is the greatest? In fact, some even send their mama to Jesus and ask, hey, when we get to Jerusalem, can we sit on your right and on your left? They are all jostling for power. The twelve think they are going to be senators when they get to Jerusalem with Jesus. And Jesus arrives at the gates of Jerusalem. He looks at them and says, I need somebody to be on the donkey detail. Who volunteered? Who was voluntold? Two people had to do it. It wasn't even like they went looking for a horse, a majestic horse, no, a donkey. They didn't even go to borrow the donkey or to um, uh, pay for it. They had to go beg for this poor donkey. My reflection today is, how many times have you been somewhere or doing something and asked yourself, what in the world am I doing? The donkey detail is important. Yes, it has probably nothing much to do with anything, but if this fails, if they don't get the donkey, then there is no Palm Sunday. There is no parading into Jerusalem for Jesus. The donkey detail has, needs people with special skill. Somebody who can go and, and ask for this precious animal that probably somebody owns and it is their precious animal. I've said many times, we all look for uh, the spotlight sometimes, hey? um, the, the big jobs. But to further the kingdom along, I want you to identify your donkey details. The times when you have been in the right place at the right time. The times when you have actually questioned, what am I doing here? I should be somewhere else. And be present enough in those times to find the grace of God. 
it takes a whole lot of mundane works to make ministry happen. Even in our own households, I remember, I know this, and I've told this story uh, at Mass. When Marianne says, let's go, we're going somewhere. Grayson and I will get in the vehicle, and Marianne will come in after us, and she will look at us frustrated, and she will say, did anybody think of turning the lights off? Did anybody think of letting the dog out? All you're doing is getting in the vehicle and it's time to go. There are these other many little things that have to happen in the act of leaving the house. Who takes care of that? Do we take that for granted? Church works because so many little jobs are taken care of and they are not little. They bring the kingdom. So as we begin this Holy Week, look at your donkey detail. Is it being a greeter at church? Is it baking pie for somebody who is not feeling well? Is it sending a card to somebody and saying, we are thinking of you? Never underestimate the things that you are doing for the kingdom. They matter. God bless and have a blessed Holy Week. Amen.